Shalom. Before I get started, I want to go all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Kakadash, and the Balanas, to the apostles and elders that I learned this truth from, the men of JMS and the brethren of the like minded doctrine, it's the brother Bakalai Wallow, here with another hopeful, edifying lesson to their leg body, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. Um, the title, um, maybe it's going to be like he flew upon a gray mountain. That's what you see in the video, right? You know, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to come with a huge UFO. And I have a video here, right? It says a huge pyramid shaped UFO over New Oxford, Pennsylvania, right? So this video is from uh, Redstone TV, um, YouTube channel. Um, and it, it goes perfectly with scriptures. I'm going to bring out these scriptures, right? I'm going to play this video first. There are many classic UFO stories that have become part of popular culture. Despite the many reports and sightings of UFOs, the majority of sightings are eventually explained as natural phenomena or man-made objects, but some of these classic stories continue to captivate people's imaginations. On August 24, 1969, New Oxford, Pennsylvania, one of the strangest stories of UFO sightings and mysterious phenomena I have ever heard occurred when a boy saw a huge unidentified flying object, which seemed to be covered with stones, as if it were a flying mountain, flying near the tops of the trees near the neighboring houses. Surprisingly, he was not the only witness, as the mysterious sighting was shared by his father, who later died of cancer, who saw the same unknown flying object. The words of the eyewitness describing the strange sight were as follows. In August 1969, I was helping my father repaint the fences around our house. Our neighbor's front garden had two very large trees. It was late in the evening, but the sun was still shining brightly. Suddenly I heard what sounded like sizzling or cracking. I turned to look and through my neighbor's trees I saw what looked like something on fire falling from the sky. The fireball literally sizzled and crackled in my ears. My first thought was that I had seen a plane about to crash, so I ran to the end of our driveway to get a better look around the trees. When I looked up, the fireball was gone, but I saw a massive object with yellow and green pulsating lights. It appeared to be solid rock, with some sort of vapor surrounding the base of the object. So look there, they said they saw what appears to be a mountain with uh, some type of vapor at the bottom. So it says light, or lights at the bottom. It appeared to be solid rock with some sort of vapor surrounding the base of the object, you know. He said it was stones. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the scriptures, right? And that's a UFO, right? That they this is an account. So um uh, this is second Ezra out of the Apocrypha, right? Second Ezra chapter thirteen. And it says, um uh, let's see where I want to start. I want to go ahead and uh, get to the point of something, right? Well, this is the return of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Messiah Yahweh Shah, right? During um during the time of World War Three or the Third World, right? He's going to be he's going to return during that time, right? He, and, and the scriptures basically said that just like the account of the of them seeing uh what appears to be what a mountain, right? It says, I'm going to read that. This is um, Second Ezra 13 and 2. I'm to start at 1. It said, And it came to pass after seven days I, I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, 
that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. This is your hour shot returning, right? In what they call a UFO. And when so and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth felleth when it fills the fire, filleth the fire. And after this I beheld and lo, there was there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So that's when Yahweh Shah is coming with the chariots, with the thousands of heaven, right? Um, Yahweh Shah is coming upon, you know, the earth, you know, and the, the men out of the four winds are, are all these um, nations gathered together for um, World War III, the third world. All these nations gathered together during the time of the third world. You know, right? And they come and they see the chariots of the Lord coming or the UFOs coming. And then they, um, you know, they gather together to fight. Yahweh Shah's return, right? Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, and the angels in this verse 6. says, but I, I beheld and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew upon it. So that's the point, right? He had graven himself, but... But I beheld and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew upon it. So that's that UFO. Just like they're talking about here, this is an account, right? It says it appeared to look, it appeared to be solid rock with some sort of vapor surrounding the base of the object. And it also said it had like, in the beginning it said, uh, it appears to have stones or something like that. Let me see. I think it says appear to have stones in it. Greetings. A mysterious phenomena I have ever heard occurred when a boy saw a huge unidentified flying object which seemed to be covered with stones. So yeah, that's what it says. Un unidentified flying object which seemed to be covered with stones. So now, you know, Second Ezra 13 and 6, it says, Beheld, and lo, he graving himself a great mountain and flew upon it. That's the UFO, right? Verse 7, But would I have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, I could not. You know, he couldn't tell the beginning of end, where the UFO begins or end. It was so big, right? It's like, um, he couldn't, uh, but I, uh, verse 7, but I would have seen the regional place where out the hill was graven, but I could not. So he couldn't tell the beginning or end, the ending of this big UFO that looks like a mountain, right? So that's that huge mountain, just like the account here, right? He said it was covered in stones, and it looked like solid rock. So I'm going to go to the second, oh, uh, Salakia. Um, Zechariah chapter 5 verse 1 right another account of the UFO so called UFO which are the chairs of the Lord right it says then I turned and lift up my eyes this is Ezra I mean Salakia Zechariah speaking right then I turned and I lift up my eyes and look and, be hit, and behold a flying roll and it says and he said unto me, What what seest thou? Not and, and I answered, and I and I Zechariah five and two. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, and I and I see a flying roll, the length thereof twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof is ten cubits. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that go forth. This is the curse. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that go forth out of the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off. 
as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And I will bring I know, and I will bring it forth, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and it shall consume it with the timber thereof, and with the stones thereof. So Yahweh Shah Hamashiach Luke in the book of Luke. I just can't remember what chapter it was. I was just looking at it. I think it's 13 or 15 or something. It says that um, I, I, um, I come to send fire on the earth. So Yahweh Shai with the chariots of the Lord or what they call UFOs. He's, gonna, he's coming to shoot fire out of those chariots. You know. Because that's why it says he, he shall consume it. And shall consume it. With the timber thereof and with the stones thereof, everything's going to be, all the elements going to burn with fervent heat. Right? So also, I want to go to the next chapter six. Because, uh, on top of the because it says, um, it looked like stones, right? Because I think there's a, I think it's in chapter six, it said the burrow, it was like, it was telling about the different colors, the different colors that, um, that the chariots look, it was giving off different co colors or something like that. Salakia, so bear with me. Okay, um, Salakia, so yeah, yeah, um, let's talk about Zachariah chapter, chapter 6, verse 1. Let's talk about the different colored um, chariots, right? It says, Zachariah 6 and 1, it says, And I turned and lift up my eyes and looked, and behold, there came four chariots out, of, out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of brass. And the first chariot, and the first chariot were red horses, and the second chariot were black horses, right? Like they're different colors, right? The third chariot, white horses, and the fourth chariot, gristled and bay horses. You know. Right, so like, you know. So, you know, they look, you know, they come in different um, colors, different shapes too, you know. Different sizes, different shapes, and different colors. So that's why, you know, it says um, uh, that gristle, I think that gristle means like, I don't think that has anything to do. I looked it up earlier. Uh, they don't really give me, they don't really say gristle. Uh, gristled. It says, uh, it says spotted or marked. Spotted or marked. You know. So, um, I'm not too sure, you know, if it's spotted, you know, it's different colors you know, within the, on the cherry, it's different colors. It might be because of the stones, right? Like it says there, um, in this video, it says, um, unidentified flying object which seem to be covered with stones, you know, so different color stones, you know, it might look spotted, it had different color stones on it. I'm assuming, right? It might look spotted. So, um, yeah, those are the chariots of the Lord, you know, like you just see in that video, um, uh, graving, uh, graving himself. I mean, um, it seemed to be solid rock, you know, it's like, it's like Ezra saw, right? 
say a huge mountain, right? Because it was huge. And also they saw it looked like a mountain. It was huge, right? Right? So that's that you know, that's scriptures that's scripture scriptural, right? What they saw. So like it's scriptural that they saw this um I know I didn't have it focused, they didn't they saw this mountain here. Right? But yeah, that's 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 in the scriptures. These chariots or the UF or what these UFOs or UAPs are mentioned in the scriptures, you know. So that's the that's the the curse that's going forth throughout the whole earth. And it's gonna go in into the house of the thief, which is Babylon the Great, aka America. That's the house of the thief, and the thief is Esau eating the separate clean white man. You know, he's gonna consume him. Right, so I'm gonna um, go ahead in it right there. I hope it was edifying to the elect. I want to say, Call Halayim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash Shalom to the next time Yahweh Rathaza, which means Lord Willer. Wa Ababa Ball DTA soon.